I'm Maricopa County Sheriff Paul Penzone. I'm asking for a few minutes of your time. We just had the chance to celebrate our independence as a nation on the 4th of July. And I hope for you and your family that you took advantage of that opportunity in a safe way. It's a defining time for us as a nation because it helps us reflect on all the sacrifices that were made to establish the foundation of who we are and what we believe in. The Constitution and the Direct Declaration of Independence have very, very strong language that inspire us to be better, to strive for greatness and to work together for solutions. And that's a powerful legacy. Now I can tell you as an organization, immediately after Independence Day, we suffered the loss of two members of our family, Sergeant Quintero, Detention Officer Fletcher. And I think about the men and women of this organization and what they do every day, even during difficult times where we know that law enforcement is under considerable criticism and scrutiny for our failures and circumstances that do not properly represent our values. Yet, in spite of that, Sergeant Quintero and Officer Fletcher and the many men and women in this organization and this profession across the nation strive to reflect, represent, and protect all of the values that are rooted in our declaration and our constitution. My concern is this, what will their legacy be if as a nation we had become so divided that we no longer seek out solutions, but we look for reasons and excuses to be at odds with each other? If we're so divided as Americans that we allow for politics to, to lead us to become enemies? If we have so much civil unrest that it is not only criticisms that we see, but it is an unwillingness to cross the bridge to look for solutions to make it better for the next generation. We are dealing with a pandemic during a time when we have the greatest level of lack of trust and civil unrest and law enforcement in the relationship with our community. And we can stay at odds with each other and watch this nation deteriorate, or we can step up to the challenge and show what we're really capable of because we believe in the values of those who came before us when they were established to say that we're better than this and we're gonna prove it through our actions. So for me, I ask every man and woman in this organization to lead by example, and that's the responsibility I carry as the head of the office. But we all have an opportunity in the face of a challenge, in the face of disagreement, to seek out a solution, to come together, to be exactly what those words represent because our actions are consistent with those values. The time for excuses is over. The time for us to be at odds with each other, it's gone on too long. So my question is just this, what are we willing to do as Americans to show that we are deserving of this reputation that we believe reflects who we are and what we stand for? When it comes to the pandemic, we don't know when there will be a vaccine, but we do know that we can take steps today to protect our own families and complete strangers from being infected. When it comes to the civil unrest and the criticism of law enforcement, the talk of things like defunding or abolishing, we would never be a better nation if we didn't have law enforcement professionals out there to protect us. But that doesn't mean that we can't be better in law enforcement. So I look for those examples where men and women in uniform find men and women of color and have a kind gesture, do something to make a positive difference in the community. And at the same time, I look for those moments when a person of color finds a person in uniform and recognizes and appreciates the fact that we come from the same neighborhoods and communities. Because as Americans, we're supposed to work towards solutions to be better. So in closing, I would offer this to you. Last year, we lost Detention Officer Lee. In the last week, we lost Officer Fletcher and Sergeant Quintero. We have many men and women in uniform every day wanting to make a difference. But legacy isn't just about those who serve in uniform. Legacy is about those who serve in the capacity of a nation. And if we truly believe the United States is the greatest nation in the world, it's time for us to start acting that way, working together, coming together, and finding solutions to be better. Thank you for giving me the privilege of being the Sheriff of Maricopa County. I am here to be a servant leader 
and I'm asking you to serve with me to help us overcome these challenges. Thank you.